there's the Chrysler Center. Elvis played right there. Ironically, they brought him to the concert in a Chrysler. <laughs> uh, they got Look at this going vehicle on. going down the wrong side of the road. They have a game in there. I saw the scoreboard. Are they? Uh-huh. Well, that's not good. That's not good. We'll see. Might be a practice game. You see this idiot going down the left, the side of the road? Uh-uh, I don't see him. Look at him. He just passed behind me. He was on the the other side going the wrong way. Look at the jump man. Oh. You know I've got to get a picture there. Yeah, I don't get a picture of that. It's all of Jordan's shoes. Is it? Yeah, he represents uh, Michigan now. So was Jordan barefooted? <laughs> I guess so. Did you see the jump man? Where do you see the scoreboard in there? Up here. So can I fly the drone up and look in one of those windows, you reckon? <laughs> I think we're gonna walk in. You think so? Uh, heck yeah. Stop right here. See if you see the scoreboard in there. Yeah, yeah they're playing a game in there. I think we're gonna walk in. I don't know what kind of game it is. What, what, it's October. It's November. Sign up. Yeah. Let me see if Michigan. So, friends, this right here is Michigan Arena in Ann Arbor that Elvis played in. Of course, all this right here is new. It's changed a whole lot. That back there is the part that is original. And we're going to see if we can get in. It looks like there's folks here doing stuff, having fun. So, we're going to go see. What the big hoopla is. Yeah, so this is the University of Michigan basketball. And this is where Elvis played. And the reason I sound funny is these morons here are making you wear a mask. I ain't saying long word of mask, I tell you that. You do have the star guy. This is what he's talking about. It's real cool. Elvis location. I didn't know I was coming to a Michigan basketball game tonight here in Ann Arbor. It's pretty cool. They're b balling down there. But don't we feel the stage is here? Yeah, I think the stage would have been here. We're going to have to push this over because of this. 
remember it. Stage here, and what we're seeing is somewhere back in here.
So we were speculating about where Elvis would stand, somewhere here. The top of his head would be about where the basketball goal was. The stage would normally be four feet tall, and he's six feet, so that's 10 feet right there. So that's about where Elvis would be standing, about there. Do you there. think the width of the stage is about the baseline? I think so, yeah. Width of the stage would be this. It'd be a little further back here, of course. So Elvis's vantage point would have been somewhere, like I think somewhere right along in there. Just like that. Elvis was here once upon a time in his life. No doubt about it. Right here. Michigan. Go blue, is that what they say? I don't know if I want to say that. Ann Arbor. <laughs> Go blue and yellow, right? Go blue and yellow, that's it. <laughs> it's cool, though. It is cool. I didn't think I was going to come to a basketball game tonight. No, uh, we've been in several uh, arenas, today. arenas today. How many arenas have we been in? Three. Today? It's been a long day, Spock. Hey, the fans are going to enjoy these episodes. No if doubt. they don't, I'm going to be mad. I wish there was a basketball, guys. I show you, I don't double dribble. I'd go out here and hit a few shots on Michigan's court. Nothing Show but net. Up. First shot, nothing but net if I could find a ball. I can't find a ball. I can't find a basketball. I'm glad we can't find you. And then we'll let the spa guy shoot one and see. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll it's going to be. I, I mean, I'm not even going to hit the he net. He said he can play. He's been telling me he can play. Yeah, I can. I'm not even going to touch the net. <laughs> so if we were sitting right here, Elvis would be right there. This would have been a great seat. Mm -hmm. This would be a great seat that night. It would have been. Because he'd have been about where on that side of the big 10 yeah, yeah about where that smiley face right is there. yeah can, can you hear the songs can you hear the crowd uh, that night mm -hmm. this is 77 this is april 77 comes out to that's all right mama i guess that's how mm -hmm. he opens the show sometimes most of the time but not all the time yeah all right let's get a wide shot up top and out of here Friends, this thing's old enough to have been here at that time. And they would have been spot lightning right down there. Imagine this place full of music. Anticipation. Yep, happened right here. And that probably lit up Elvis. 
That might have. Once upon a time. Man. Those are all different kinds of Jordans. Yeah. See, what happened was MJ now represents Michigan. So mm -hmm. they wear his Jordan jerseys. You see the jersey back in the background? Mm -hmm. This is going to be their first year of the basketball team, I believe, wearing it. So they have this Jordan display with all the Air Jordans. That's all of his shoes that he wore, Billy. All in Michigan colors. Mm. Look at that. That's cool. That's really cool. Those were my favorites. I wore those when I was in elementary school. I also had those. I also... I had a pair like those right there, and then my daddy got a job. <laughs> I had those pair right there. So we're right outside the stadium, friends. In Michigan. Look at him drooling over those shoes. You didn't want to bring your camera? Well, you got it. I just wanted the picture. Okay. Take some shots. Over yeah, I will. Bye. So this is the Michael Jordan display. Check that out. Yeah, I like that smart guy. <laughs> Tell us what you like about it. Uh, I want that to be on my wall in my room. That's nice right there. It is nice. Well, just take that one. Is it loose? There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> This is pretty cool. It is. Is. They have their trophies over here. All their PCN championships. So clearly they like to play basketball here. And this those, is pretty cool. So I'm these are you. Jordans. Yeah, these are all Jordans in Michigan colors. Michael now sponsors Michigan. These were my favorites that I wore back in the 90s. Jumpman. As we see. How much does a pair of Jumpman go? Oh, these things now over $200. Really? Probably 180 Probably a little over 200 on some of these. But you see, Michael has, like, he wore these during his playing career, most of these. Those actual ones? Not these. Well, that's what you just but said. You know, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. So it's and not like Elvis's like, jumpsuits where he actually wore them. These are ones these like These are wore. replicas, okay. like Mike's. Right. But that's not actual yet. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. All right, you got to give me a good picture here. want to be like Mike. And then there's the men's. And then there's the ladies. And you see, the jump man's on the jerseys now. Yeah. So Michael's in Michigan now. So you call that the jump man. That's what they call it, the jump man logo. Hmm. Yeah. Michigan. So this is a Michigan National Championship trophy. Right here. 1989. Men's Basketball Championship. Shock the world, boys. Go blue is what it says. Shock the world. Sticky tongue and a light socket. That's how you shock the world. You make the world stick the tongue in a light socket. And these things are big, the Big Ten championship champions. Yeah. Those are big. But I think, aren't there 12 schools in the Big Ten now? I think so. I believe so. But if you win in one of those, it's a big deal <laughs> for the Big Ten Cup. Well, for the Big 12. Yeah, for, the is it a big deal for 10 of the 12 or 12 it's of the 10 12? 10 of the 12 now. Okay, so I see. That's how they go. Hmm. All right, friends, we are out. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and watch the Weekly Spa Guy. Friends, thank you.